Hello and welcome to a cool smartphone video showcasing the software on the OnePlus 2. So let's get into it. So let's get into this. Here we have the OnePlus 2 and you can see here this is our standard lock screen. Now you can use a fingerprint to unlock this. I have disabled that due to some issues with the fingerprint reader on the early software builds. Once you unlock it, you can see here that you have a fairly standard Android user style interface with your launcher button in the middle. Um, your soft keys are at the bottom. Um, I'm using the capacitive keys. You do have an option of having on screen soft keys if you would prefer. Um, these keys at the bottom are multifunctional. So the middle key is also your fingerprint reader. The left and the right can be reassigned, or the right and the left, sorry, can be reassigned to either back or multitasking, which is how I've set them out, or back on this side and multitasking on that one. You can also assign press and hold functions to these. I haven't done that um, as I don't see any nece necessary need for that. Um, as you can see, you've got your side swiping UI very very normal very standard sort of interface very like Google now however there is a big difference with this when I keep on swiping across to the left I do not get the um, commonly used Google now uh, cards view to get that I have to long press the home button now that is a feature of the Oxygen OS now there is a feature with Oxygen OS that will allow you to have something called stacks, I believe. I could be wrong about that, and I apologize if I am. But this would allow an extra screen. Now the screen will, um, essentially it will add your commonly used apps and things like that in there. I will be honest with you, I turned this off as I didn't really see any benefit to it. Um, and I can't find it the settings now to show you. But we will just go back in. This is a quick launch menu here. Very, very useful. All the usual bits and pieces, as you would expect. Um, and then you've also got your settings menu. There's a couple of little tweaks in the settings menu. So you've got a SIM cards option for one, because it's dual SIM. You've got buttons and gestures options. Now these are to assign the buttons. Um, and the long press functions. Gestures will allow you to perform in various different gestures. I do have double tap to wake on, as I do find that quite useful. Home um, allows you to assign either Launcher or Google Now. And uh, the Google Now Launcher does actually allow you to have a um, similar experience to that of the Android Marshmallow experience for anyone wanting to play around with that. And the rest of the things are fairly standard. You've got customization, you've got fingerprint in there. Customization does allow you to change some of the themes, so you can change between light mode and dark mode. I personally prefer the dark mode, so I'll pop that back. You can also change the font color as well and your LED notifications. A really cool feature, one that I really like on here, is um, if I drag down from anywhere, in that's empty space I get my notification drawer unlike any other Android phone where you have to reach right up to the top to get it now that does make using this phone single-handed a lot easier uh, you have your standard um, double long press sorry to bring up your widget functionality and you can also do a rearrange on here now the rearrange it will allow you to Rearrange your icons on your home screen to best, best utilize space. Um, I don't really like the, how they've done that, so I'll change that back later. And it's a nice way of being able to tidy up your home screen quick and easily. The DPI on the icons is a little bit high for my liking, but that is normal for Android now, so it's something that I can I can deal with. Um, 
really there isn't a huge amount of overlay and customization on here some of the things that are on here like this dark theme i did actually see this in android marshmallow when i was testing it and i'll be honest i actually preferred this a lot more and i was sad to see it go from the beta versions so i'm glad that oneplus have given you the option and something they were talking about is the fact that they are giving you that option while we're looking at software we will uh, mention that i am one of the lucky few that is now running the and the oxygen os 2.1 version and that does allow the enhanced camera ui so you can see here our standard s camera very very like the google experience but we've got the addition of time lapse now slow motion uh, photo and video are always there manual and panorama now if i go into manual this is where it gets really clever. If I click on one of these, I get a ring pop out. Now this one is allowing me to adjust the focus. So let's put something in front of it to try and use that. So I can now adjust the focal point to get the correct level of focus. Obviously on auto it's finding it pretty well there. And on Infinity, it's not going to find it. Um, this is very, very Nokia 1020-esque. If we now go in, we can change the um, exposures, I believe this is. Yep, that's our exposure in there. Okay, and you can see it's still a little bit jumpy. I was still able to change the settings in there very, very easily. Uh, so let's go back in and we've now got our exposure at the lowest so we'll put that back up to a usable place um, you've also got the ability to adjust the brightness depending on uh, the ambient conditions and last but not least your ISO and it gives you a live preview of what these settings are going to do and what difference they're going to make now I really really like that on the 1020 and I really like it on here. It allows me to play, it allows me to experiment, and it allows me to get a further understanding of what these functions do. So that is a little update um, that has come recently. Now, if, as you saw there, if you swipe in from the side, you do get your uh, gallery view. And the photos that this phone takes are pretty good. Um, however, I will talk more about that in the review. So that's, that's it, there you have it, a very brief overview of the software on the OnePlus 2. Um, the overruling thing here is if you like Android in its purest form, like you get on a Nexus device, this is not that far removed. And the things that it does add, I believe, are enhancements. They are not um, things that are negative. You do have a couple of um, pre-installed apps such as there is a files on here which is useful i st still prefer file commander and i'll be honest i haven't really found any other ones i'm sure there are they are there but i can't remember them off the top of my head so there you go the software on the one plus two very very good very nice software uh, very nexus so like software if you like this video please 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 uh, do let us know. If you don't like it, also let us know. Um, if you want to subscribe to get more content like this from CoolSmartphone.com, then please hit the subscribe link over there, or down there, wherever it is they put it these days, and um, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much, and that's it. Cheers. Bye.